The Sims 4 always has been, always will be a train wreck. Nobody can deny that. <laughs> no reasonable person anyway. There have been honestly like countless, count, honestly countless, endless, an infinite amount of controversies. I want to talk today about the most fun ones. Things that have always stuck in my mind is just the really hilarious disasters of The Sims 4. So when the game was first released, it was pretty tragic. It was very bare bones, significantly worse than it is now. One of the most horrific horrendous things about it was the original map screens. The original Sims 4 map screens were absolutely diabolical. They looked like some kind of blueprint in a weird way because they just rushed the release of the game. It was so stripped back and so many players went from The Sims 3 which had, a, you know, this huge open world where you could instantly load into any lot, instantly load any lot, move lots around. It was incredibly customizable to this blueprint screen with a limited number number of lots and everybody was just like what the hell is this what the hell is it <laughs> you can't move anything around everything looks very bare bones they didn't even have color they literally like they couldn't the game was so rushed that it released in well i was gonna say gray scale but more like blue scale it was literally so rushed <laughs> it had no color it just set the scene for what was to come or not to come i feel like i'm saying come too much <laughs> i'm not coming are you coming i hope you're not coming to this video that's a little bit weird the next hilarious controversy is Rachel Franklin getting excited over dishwashers. As I said, when the game first came out, everybody was just like, why are there no toddlers in this game? Why are babies tied to a crib like an object? Why is there no open world? Why are there no cars? Dishwashers were in the base game of the previous Sims games, but they're kind of like a minor feature where Simmers were like, we're not too bothered. Like it would be incredible to have it, but like it's not on the top of the priority list. But she announced dishwashers as if they were this incredible huge thing coming. I believe they were announced around the time of the get together pack. I could be wrong, but they were announced in this most excitable way. I believe she was the executive producer. I also believe she was the one that justified toddlers not being in the base game as the best decision for the game today or something like that. I can't remember. It might be false, but I believe it was true. And I remember so many simmers were just like, what the hell? Why are we getting excited over dishwashers? Where are the cars? Where are the open world? Where are the toddlers? Where are the ghosts? Where are the swimming pools? But no, we're getting dishwashers. The next controversy is the 20th anniversary hot tub. You think being 20 years old, that's a big number. You think they do something spectacular for The Sims 20th anniversary. There are so many ideas. They could have brought back random gameplay objects that were iconic from The Sims 1, 2 and 3 into The Sims 4. Cast outfits that were iconic from previous Sims games. Some kind of gameplay element that's been missing in The Sims 4 for years. It was iconic in previous Sims games, such as, I don't know, burglars. But do you know what we got? We got a hot tub with a roof. And it's so funny because the hot tub, it looks like a Willow Creek house. <laughs> if like, you know, a Willow Creek house and a hot tub had a baby, it would be the 20th anniversary hot tub. It's a pretty ugly hot tub. And even more controversially, we actually got hot tubs in The Sims 4 Perfect Patio Stuff Pack. Now, in previous Sims games, hot tubs were not tied to a specific pack. It was just like a general object that came with some packs. In The Sims 2, we got some in the base game. But in The Sims 4, we got the perfect patio stuff pack. It was basically a hot tub DLC. The only reason why you could get this stuff pack is so you could have hot tubs back. And many Simmers, when that pack came out, I remember it was so controversial. Like, why are hot tubs released behind DLC? This game is bare bones enough as it is. And you're making us pay for something that should have been base game. But now it is base game. But the base game one is so ugly. So we have to buy this DLC one anyway. I mean, a lot of things that were base game or not tied to a specific pack in previous Sims games are very pack specific in The Sims 4, not just hot tubs. You know, in previous Sims games, like restaurants, like they weren't that deep. They weren't tied to a specific pack. You could just go to them with certain packs, but not others. Doing your laundry in The Sims 3 wasn't really tied to a specific pack. It was in a couple of different packs. Like it was in the university pack. There was washing machines in the ambitions pack and it like, it wasn't really that deep, but in The Sims 4, obviously we have the washing machine DLC, my first laundry day stuff to do your laundry. The next controversy is the MAC makeup palette. This is so like insignificant and hilarious. <laughs> so The Sims 4 has had many awful brand collaborations. They have absolutely nothing on The Sims 2 IKEA collaboration or The Sims 3 Diesel stuff collaboration or The Sims 2 H&M fashion stuff collaboration. In The Sims 4, we got Moschino stuff, which was a pretty bad collaboration, but I would say 
Obviously, the worst one is a MAC Cosmetics. So, so in the Sims 4 base game, we got some free MAC Cosmetics makeup in the first MAC collaboration. Now, a lot of people have referred to the eyeliner that came with this as sperm eyeliner. And the makeup that comes with this is like a little bit questionable and not very usable. But the funniest one is when they release an official Sims 4 makeup palette. This was supposed to be a makeup palette inspired by The Sims. What it actually was, was a very old MAC makeup palette that had nothing to do with The Sims. And they basically just stuck The Sims 4 logo on the front of the packaging and called it a Sims palette, even though it had nothing to do with The Sims. Even the names of the color swatches, I don't really understand what a palette is, like what it's for, but you, you know, like the names of the color swatches. They didn't even have names directly related to The Sims. The colors weren't like related to The Sims. It was just very random. I feel like Mac probably had some like old stock of this old makeup palette and they were like, you know, what do we do with this? Cause we can't sell it cause it's old. I know we stick a Sims logo in front of it and pretend it's related to The Sims. <laughs> it was just so ridiculous. The next controversial disaster of The Sims 4 is the high school years incest glitch. When The Sims 4 high school years first came out, the game basically totally broke like the base game itself. One of the major glitches was that um, Sims would be incest. <laughs> That was hilarious. Not only that, it gets worse, okay? It wasn't just incestuousness. There was a glitch where Sims of almost any life stage could be romantic with each other. This means a teen son could be romantic with his adult mother. Like it was that bad of a glitch and it took them very long to fix it. There was also an aging glitch where Sims would age from like a baby to an elder in like minutes. It was insane. Usually when a new Sims 4 pack gets released, the game is is broken and what we normally find is you know a couple of weeks after a new pack is released they'll release an update with a patch fix so as a general pointer if a new pack comes out don't play the game for like at least two weeks until they sort out the issues i just feel like incestuousness especially between like adults and minors is so sub like it is literally severe and it was such a big thing like it was so obvious it was happening to so many players like why did they release it with this how did they not know <laughs> How do they not know? It just feels like maybe they don't test their games very well. The next controversy of The Sims 4 is the launch. I've spoken a little bit about this already. The Sims 4 was released nine years ago as I'm making this video and it really was crap. Like it was literal crap. So many Simmers have bought like tons of Sims 3 packs and then they got The Sims 4, which was released incredibly expensively. I'm pretty sure it was roughly $50 and like back then that was extremely expensive. And I remember Simmers got it, including myself, and just like you know played it for a couple of hours and thought like what the hell is this there's nothing there's literally nothing here and i feel like you know the management of the sims team at the time kind of had this delusion that simmers would excitingly move on to the sims 4 and we all looked at it and we thought like the sims 3 is so much better i'm just gonna play the sims 3 and you know simmers they played the sims 4 for about a week i remember as well a lot of sims youtubers they honestly like they played the sims 4 for like a week or two and then they were just like i don't know what to do i'm I'm just gonna go back to The Sims 3. And there was like this weird kind of era for months where Simmers didn't bother playing The Sims 4. They just played The Sims 3 and waited for The Sims 4 to get better. I mean, many Simmers now, they're still only playing The Sims 2 or 3 waiting for The Sims 4 to get better. It's like never ending. But I think the most controversial thing about this is that The Sims 4 will never be as good as, you know, The Sims 3. We'll never have the open world. We'll never have cars. The platform of the game was just so clearly rushed and bad. Bad, it will never truly be in a great state, which is why the launch has, you know, it's affected everything about The Sims 4 to the current date. It's the main reason why The Sims 4 always has been, always will be a controversy. It's like the ultimate controversy. Well, it's not. In fact, the ultimate controversy of The Sims 4 is all of the packs. Every Sims game has been cash grabby, even The Sims 1. When The Sims 1 was released, the concept of, you know, packs, it didn't even exist. The concept of expansion packs, extra content, it genuinely just didn't exist back in those days, but The Sims did it anyway. The Sims 2 was severe with packs. The Sims 3 was actually a little bit better. It's quite in depth, but The Sims 4, okay, this took it to a whole new level. Things that were not pack 
exclusive in previous Sims games suddenly became pack exclusive in The Sims 4. For example, doing your laundry, you need a laundry day stuff pack. Being able to go to a restaurant, you specifically need the dine out pack to do that. But if you want to sell food from a baking stand, you have to do that with The Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle. But if you specifically want your Sims to eat ice cream, you must get the cool kitchen stuff pack. But if you want your Sims to eat in a cafe, you must get the get together pack. And it's not just that, but also, you know, broken up concepts, which were just like one pack in The Sims 3, uh, multiple packs in The Sims 4. Supernatural is an excellent example. The Sims 3 Supernatural came with so many occults, even more occults than we have in The Sims 4 to date. And they were in depth. They were very good. The pack came with a couple of careers. It came with so many miscellaneous features. They were so in depth in this just one pack. But in The Sims 4, we've got the Werewolves pack, the Vampires pack, the Realm of Magic pack. We still don't have all of the occults. Cults. We still don't have fairies. We still don't have genies. We still don't have zombies. Another excellent example, probably the best example, is The Sims 3 Late Night. Late Night was basically like the ultimate Sims pack for living in the city, and it had so many features. In order to get the Late Night experience in The Sims 4, you would need to have The Sims 4 Get Together expansion pack, The Sims 4 City Living expansion pack, The Sims 4 Vampires game pack, The Sims 4 Get Famous expansion expansion pack, the Sims 4 Vintage Glamour stuff pack, and the Sims 4 Perfect Patio stuff pack. Even then that pack came with still like more things than we had in the Sims 4. It comes with bands, which is something that's been so like much requested in the Sims 4, but we don't have, but it came with late night. It also came with house parties that you could have in like NPC houses. So Sims would invite you over to their house for a house party, which doesn't happen in the Sims 4. A pack that came with like a huge open world city. It came with vampires. It came with celebrities with a fame system. You could have butlers. It was just so insane. The Sims 3 Ambitions was unironically an ambitious pack. It came with multiple live careers, including a ghost hunter, an investigator, a firefighter, architectural designer, real estate business, a tattoo artist, a stylist. It like honestly came with so much. There was even like bake sales for kids in The Sims 3. If you want to be an architectural designer, you need dream home decorator, although that's more about interior design. Although funnily enough, the architectural design career that came in the Sims 3 Ambitions expansion pack is actually a lot more in depth than the Dream Home Decorator Sims 4 game pack. You would also need paranormal stuff, which is the ghost hunter career from the Sims 3 Ambitions, but in the Sims 4 you need a special stuff pack for it. You would also need a get to work, obviously, because that has live careers. You'd also need laundry day because this was the first Sims 3 pack that came with laundry. <laughs> and then of course there's a Sims 3 Generations, which is basically the Sims 4 growing together, parenthood, kids' room stuff, high school years, my wedding stories, backyard stuff, and toddler stuff. And how can we forget pets? The Sims 3 pets is now a magnitude of packs in The Sims 4, and it's still not as in-depth as The Sims 3 pets. The Sims 4 packs are so controversially cash-grabby and disjointed, and EA have said that we are literally, I believe this is a quote, maybe a misquote, that we're getting packs for years to come. So like, they're not stopping. <laughs> they're not stopping anytime soon. It's only going to get worse, and it's only going to add to the controversies. And do you know what? I'm sure in a year or two's time, I'm going to be able to recreate this video and add even more controversies. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.